guys, so today I'm going to be doing my video on the nude sticks. They are a brand pretty much all made up of products in stick form and they all come in these little tins. Everything comes in a little tin. I have the box for the color Rebel um, and I have just all of my products in here. I think it's super cute because you can fit more than one thing in here and then when you open it up the lid has a mirror so you can it's actually a very very nice mirror you can put like a concealer you can put one lip product you can put a sharpener you can put actually like a fair amount of things in here so I had heard of nude sticks before but I wasn't super familiar with their products I hadn't purchased anything but I've heard people like glam life guru talk about them and I was familiar with the overall brand, but at Generation Beauty, I got to speak to Taylor. She is the co-founder of Nude Sticks along with her sister, Allie. Nude Sticks is basically made for like a simple kind of look, you but better, and everything you can like apply with your fingers. Everything is in a stick form. Nude Sticks. I think the name is super cute, it's super perfect. They have so many different cool products that I didn't even know. I just thought they were kind of like, concealer and lip product. They recently came out with a new line of lip products, a new formula. They are their gel color and all of their lip pencils or lip and cheek pencils. I have three shades right here. I have Haven, which is a very like nude, warmish kind of color. There is the color Rebel, which is a very like Barbie, pinky, purple kind of color. Taylor was actually wearing this and I was talking to her at Generation Beauty. She just had it Padded on her lips really lightly and then the third one I have is Lux, which is super pretty like warm um, Pinky kind of corally color the two I'm wearing right now are a mix of rebel and Lux. Um, I put rebel on and padded it in and it was just a little bit cool tone I want to warm it up a tiny bit. So I applied Lux and oh my gosh these are beautiful. They're not like a sheer formula where it's like, oh, this is like a bomb in just a stick form. They have a really nice color payoff, but they have a very jelly look. It's not like glossy, it's not high shine, it's not like slippery and gonna just slip right off your lips. It has a really nice color payoff, but I think it's so cool. These are like gel colors because honestly, I can't describe these any better than like a gel color. Like it's it's not shiny, it's not glossy, it's not matte, it's a very gel finish. They are a little bit tacky, so when you blend it out with your finger, you can feel it's like a little bit sticky, which is what you want, especially if you're gonna put it on your cheeks. You want it to be able to adhere. They don't wear down super quickly, you apply it, and the tip doesn't like just completely disappear even though it is a softer texture. It does come with a sharpener. Um, I haven't had to use the sharpener yet. I've used them a few times. I've been swatching them and if you can tell, it hasn't been worn down an extreme amount. I'm just gonna add some of Haven on top. So I applied Haven on my lips. If you can tell, that was super full color. It kind of just went over the other two lip products I just dabbed in. So even though this is a very light color, it's very pigmented, full color, but still has that sort of jelly look on your lips. So I really like Haven because it doesn't wash me out and it looks super nice. I can wear it on its own. If I wanna add a little bit of deepness to it, I will just add a lip liner underneath. But the good thing about these is they're already in stick format, so you really don't need a lip liner. Jumbo lip pencils were a huge trend the past couple years. With any of your jumbo lip products, you really don't have to um, apply a lip liner under them. These are a lot more pigmented than your average jumbo lip pencil. I haven't used Haven or Rebel on my cheeks, but I have tried Lux. Taylor applied it on my cheeks at Generation Beauty, and it gave a really nice flush to my cheeks. I'm not the biggest fan of like cream products on my face, um, just because I am a little bit more oily. If you set them with a powder, if you're a little bit more oily, you don't need to, but just so you don't have like a wet finish to your face.
but when you sort of rub it into your face along with your lips, the shine or the jelly sort of finish kind of dissipates, but you still have a little bit of a little bit of something. It's not like you dab it in and it's matte. It still has a very lively appearance. As far as the packaging goes, I think they're really nice. The only thing that I would probably like a little bit better is if they were twist up. Maybe having it like encased is better to keep like the shape um, because these are a little bit more creamy. But none of their products are twist up. They're all um, they all come with sharpeners and they're all supposed to be sharpened. I also think the case is a really, really nice touch. If you have a lot of these though, you will end up having a lot of cases, which you could use these for bobby pins, hair ties, um, put a few nude sticks in here, have like one for each part of your face. It's hot as shit though. Woohoo! Maybe that's how I want you. A little conversation and a little more touch my body. So since it is summer and it is hot outside, I think these are going to be more of an at-home product. They are a little bit of a softer uh, texture and consistency, so I don't want these to melt in my purse or anything. I think they would be fine. I don't want to take any chances. If you guys carry these in the heat, let me know so I'm not scared to put these in my purse. If you have any questions for me about these products, definitely leave those in the comments below and I will answer them for you guys. But that is the end of my nude sticks review. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you click the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you guys have any favorite nude sticks products that you think I should pick up, definitely leave those in the comments below as well. But thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.